Hey everyone, today we're going to learn how to deploy a web API to Azure App Service and we're going to learn how to turn on and view the logging for that in the Azure portal. Someone on the Azure Discord server was having a bit of a problem with this and it seemed a little bit more fiddly than it should be. So we're going to jump in and have a look at how to do it. So we're going to start with the default.NET web API and for the logging part, we're just going to take the logger it gives us by default. It injects the iLogger in the constructor and in the get function, we're going to add logger.log warning, warning from the app. What we're going to do now is we're going to right click on the project and we're going to click on publish. We're going to select Azure, Azure App Service, and we're going to hit create new. And for the resource group, we're going to select one I made for this, the API deployment one. And now that's created, I think what the issue a lot of people are having is they just think that that's enough. We've got the app service and that's going to handle our API for us. What we actually need to do is if we click on next, we need to create, it's hard to see here, but an API management service. We'll create a new one of those. And this basically lets us use our application as an API rather than just thinking it's a site. So we're going to click new API management service. We'll just hit OK. And we'll just hit create. Now that's great. We can click finish, and close and publish. And when it's published, it will automatically open up the URL to go to. So for this, we actually just want to add in slash weather forecast. And now we can see our API working. And if we go to our resource group, we can refresh that and now we see that we've got our app service and our API management service. If we go into the API management service and APIs, we can actually see our API lives here and it's identified the get for the weather forecast here. To enable the logs, what we have to do is go to our app service, scroll down on the left, go to app service logs. We're going to turn application logging to the file system on and we're going to set it to warning because that matches the log we level we had before and basically these different ones determine how high of a log level you want to view so if you want to see information and anything more important you select that and it will show you information warning and error if you just want warning and above it will show you warning and error so we're going to go to warning and we're going to hit save and now we can go to log stream and now anything we do after this point is going to log here so if we go back to the application we refresh that our log stream has now picked it up the last thing I'm going to show quickly is if we go back to the API management service, if you actually want to use the gateway URL instead, we slash with the forecast again. Now access is denied because we don't have a subscription key. What we can do to add this is we can go into here, go into subscriptions, add a subscription, uh, give it a name. We'll just give it those details. So now the scope, we're going to select API and we're going to say we want a key for this specific API. And then we can go on this three dots over here, go to hide keys and copy the primary key. What we also have to do is go to APIs, find our API and go to settings. And what we need is the actual parameter that it takes in to say this is my subscription key, which is this. You can also disable subscriptions completely here. And if we do this very quickly, then you'll see that it's working again. But what we're going to do is turn that back on, double check that it fails again. There we go. And now we're going to add in, we've got subscription key, so question mark, subscription dash key equals, and then we'll paste in our key from before. And there we go, it works again. So there we have it. It seems simple, but unless you play around with this and know what you're doing, it can be quite fiddly and you can get lost all over the place doing this. Hopefully that's helped some of you out there. And if you need any more information around this, just let me know and I'll see what I can do to help. Thanks very much for watching.